and dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck? Sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally! Some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered him a place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept. In the meantime, he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. And that settles it. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. When do I get to head up to the Pridwin? Paladin Dance will decide when you're allowed up there. Until then, I'm afraid you're stuck with us. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress Reese, me. that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of if ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Are you gonna teach me this code of ethics? If you were paying attention in Arcjet, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Now, since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's a simple There's as There's one that. last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember, now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Paladin. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why did the Brotherhood send it here in the first place? I'm not sure. But I think it might have something to do with the data on the Commonwealth my team gathered before it arrived. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major If offensive. she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. What's the matter? Don't like kicking in the door? Don't worry. You'll fall in line with our tactics sooner or later. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride.
Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now, with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000-volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So, our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operation. Let's get to work. Good hunting. identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. The Commonwealth looks different from here. Doesn't it? it never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battle changes from the air. We're gonna need that in when we take on the infantry. They've already proven that they're technologically superior. Telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Max will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions.
far too long since I've been a All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest if of the Dance world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the brother. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing The clear. Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think Understood. they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly. And I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else? Or was everything I said understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the capital. In a mere land. decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak anything with Anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not Until yet. Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the country. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, Without now that question. the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting surface. with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent The Institute history. scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as this a human being. Notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly and dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I 
am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sikhs are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Ad victorium! Ad victorium! Ad victorium! There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for the war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet, to start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new Welcome orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Getting a bit of a twitch on Prop 3. Adjusting torque. System deltas at 100%. Secondary deltas standing by. Reactor at 100% efficiency. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Dr. Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. I'm just... <laughs> okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me, you'd know. Good. Uh, firing! All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. And you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiative. Sure. Thanks. Stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything you say. He does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together.
So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us. And I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I'm pleased we were assigned to the same team. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Hey, need something? Want to swap some gear? Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your First ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my you notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you have Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Those species aren't my type. Good. I find the practice highly distasteful myself. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood So what material. about you? Would you have a problem with it? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly soldier? advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us.
tighten up the meter like that. Now split the difference there. And now half that. You want to do it? No, no. I think you've almost got it. That's it. Thank you, Scribe. Yep. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwin. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documents. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical Saves relevance. us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current medical mission. records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. If you want my help, just ask already. I wasn't aware you were interested, Knight. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful I'm authorized data. to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Knight? <clears throat> I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot. And leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar on his face from going one-on-one -on -one with a death There. Ball. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't I fix can it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire. <clears throat> got it. There it is. If you're looking Thanks, for brother. ammunition or I weapon mods, Proctor Teagan might have what you need. Proctor Teagan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. You must be in there for a reason. Maybe I'll keep my distance. I'm only having a bit of fun with you, Knight. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor the Teagan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps. And everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, 
I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Proctor Teagan. Remember, come find me when you're done meeting the rest of the crew. Plenty of work if you need it. Oh man, I'm late for muster one more time? Captain Kells is gonna have So me you're the new knight I heard about? Glad to have you on the team. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find if me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that That's way? That's a little personal, don't you think? All right. Forget that I asked. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps oh, off. and if you. you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Wow. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Don't let Ingram catch you standing around. You'll be on report before you can blink. If Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to take him over. Thoughts? Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Didn't have anything else. Affirmative. Have you ever fired a minigun?
Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. But it'll have to the wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant force. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed, and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Dismissed. earth. Dismissed. Picking on a death claw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. Bridwin is a magnificent ship. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city. Try and keep him in your sights. Target 
down. Look at that thing, please. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Fredwin for repair. There must be something significant in this area to merit these fortifications. I wish a buckethead would show up. I'd this area seems to be in more. disarray. I hear something. I this is recent. Someone there? Uh, who's there? Oh. I am Super Mutant! I am unstoppable! 
Judging from the amount of dust present, it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Open it up. Nice. This area has obviously been abandoned for quite some time. Remain vigilant. This place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard.
someone now. Quite a bit of trash to pick up here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard. Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. I hear something! Noise. Well, 
We should search this area carefully. Long live the Brotherhood! Whatever this thing was, I've been totally torn to pieces. Hold up. Over there! Get him! Standing down! Why are you bu This equipment's here for a reason. Let's find out why.
Paladin. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps I've back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, a long time I've seen synths. what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper it hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Got it.
you should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. are replacing humans with exact duplicates. Makes me sick. Remember your three C's. Cranium, crotch, center mass. This is our supply unit. Unless you're here on official business, I need you to clear up. The duty shift was long, but I'm glad they're making a difference out here. If Dumb and Ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. Oh, God. All that on a stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Lancer Captain Ke Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Unless you have business here, clear out. Heard you got a new assignment. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribe. Prestigious.
Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our I've arsenal. also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way, because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke in it. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke Should grenade. you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Will the vertebrates stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of it. I them. expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the common. An even greater task lies ahead. By now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. That had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circle. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source We're is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we send a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of Institute Is there weapon. anything else? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help Our us? records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of The Technology. ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. Sir. Questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. We're getting a 3% Z-tilt. Adjusting thrust recommended. It sounds like we owe you our gratitude for wiping out those monsters at Fort Strong. Now, did you have any documents? Or perhaps you were interested in aiding a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition as well. Excellent work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully. And you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Hail, Knight. What's on your mind, soldier?
Can't talk right now. Gotta Excuse clean the Mirelux cat off my Ready boots. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Feels like you can take on the world in there, doesn't it? 